one of the things that can make travelling difficult is when you have to transfer in an airport from international to domestic. You don't know what to expect sometimes. Sometimes you have to go through customs, sometimes you need to check your bags, sometimes you don't. This can be even more prevalent in a country like China where it's hard to find out information and you don't speak the Chinese language. So here we are at Xiamen Airport in China. We've just arrived off a nine-hour flight from Australia. And we've got to transfer from international to domestic and catch a flight to Qingdao in China. So let's just see uh, how easy or hard it is to actually find our way from international to domestic. Okay, so far the sign is saying transit. So we're following the... Uh, the transit path doesn't say whether the transit's for international or domestic at this stage, so we'll see as we get closer. Okay, so there was airport staff at the end of that long hallway, and they've directed us to go downstairs, asked us where we were going, so we're going to follow that everyone else is going, and hopefully it's as simple as going down here and going through domestic arrivals. Search our channel for our review on our Xiamen air flight from Melbourne to Xiamen. I'm thinking we just go straight through there, do we? Like, where everyone else is going. Okay, so we've got to go through a health quarantine check here. I don't think it's uh, any big issue. They just ask you on the plane whether you've got any symptoms. So if you haven't, I assume we just walk straight through. Okay, so we uh, got through customs and had to put our check-in luggage once again through the scanners and now we're out in the main area of the airport trying to find domestic departures so let's see how that goes sign says up here so we'll go and see what happens I guess we've got about half an hour until we need to go so hopefully we can find out where we're going Okay, we think we're on the right direction here. They told us back down there to go upstairs, so we followed the signs. Like the signs have been pretty accurate to where to go, so we have followed it up here. And hopefully this will, yeah, hopefully this will take us to where we need to check in for our Qingdao flight. The signs have been in English, so that's been helpful as well. Okay, so we just quickly stopped off at the Zhelman counter just to make sure we're in the right place because there's nothing like going to the wrong place when you don't know where you're actually going. So apparently we're heading upstairs once again to gate six and we should be in the right spot. We really didn't get much of a chance to have a look around Xiamen Airport. Seem to be lots of shops, lots of places to eat, as you'd expect from a big Chinese airport. Hopefully next time we go through there, we'll be able to take it a bit easier and really check out the facilities that this airport offers. Okay, so now we're finally heading to our boarding gate. I would say it was uh, fairly easy to transfer from international into domestic. You obviously had to clear Chinese immigration, which took a few minutes. Uh, then you had to go through bag check once again into domestic, so that wasn't too bad either. Luckily we had our main bags transferred, so that helped out a lot because we didn't have to actually go and pick up our big bags. So uh, now we're at our boarding gate now to Qingdao, so it was actually pretty easy. Probably took maybe somewhere around an hour to get through. So yeah, so as far as I can see, quite easy for everyone to transfer from international to domestic at Xiaomen Airport.